snowing outside. <sighs> I can hardly believe that Christmas is almost here. The time went by so quickly. It feels like everyone gets so busy this time of year. Everyone running around trying to shop for the perfect gift or trying to make sure that they have their grocery list for Christmas dinner. Everyone going to their hometown and celebrating. I always get excited to see what traditions people have. Hmm? Oh, me? Well, yeah, I, I have a tradition. Do you happen to have any plans this evening? And by this evening, I mean 2 a.m.? <laughs> okay, don't look at me like that. I know it's a weird request. But I have a tradition that is strictly in the middle of the night. And I would love if you would join me. If you don't mind going out in the cold in the middle of the night. Well, I guess that's fair. You might want to know what we're doing. All right. I'll let you in on the secret. It started a couple years ago. I don't really have anybody to go to during the holidays. I don't have family waiting for me or anything, and I don't really have any close friends I go visit either, so I just used to kind of piddle around and it would get kind of lonely, but then I got one crazy idea one winter night. Why should I feel so down in the dumps when there's so many less fortunate than I? And what if I could prevent them from feeling so lonely or sad? So I went to a nearby orphanage and I planted a Christmas tree and decorated it in the middle of the night where no one would know who did it. And I left it as a gift. Since they didn't really have a home to go to either, they could celebrate around the tree together and I, I go to a different one each year it always depends on where I've traveled so I was thinking about doing it for this town as well and I normally do it alone but well if you're interested I'm I'm sure the extra hands would be helpful I won't have you do too much work. It's just a couple of ornaments. Nothing too crazy, just a couple of acorns and some pine cones, a couple of wooden toys, and a little bit of magic. And I'll take care of the magical side. You won't even have to waste a spell slot. <laughs> I'll probably take an early nap. That way I have enough energy to decorate. If you wish to join me tonight, I know that a nap would probably do you good, too. We'll leave an hour after midnight. <laughs> shh, shh, don't, don't, don't be too loud. I can't make too much noise. We don't want to wake anybody up. All the lights are out. It looks like the coast is clear. Help me off the fence. We don't have a key to the gate, do we? Come on. <laughs> Here, I'll pull you up. Give me your hand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, we gotta be quiet landing, okay? Shh. Come on, follow me. I think that spot will do good. I think this is far enough to talk, but close enough where they'll be able to see it. Here's my bag. Can you look for my shovel? Thank you. Let me check my pockets. Ah, here it is. It's 
a evergreen seed. I bought a pack of them a couple years ago, and they've been lasting me. You might want to stand back a little bit. Uh, plant growth is a little bit unpredictable if I don't keep my focus. <sighs> there we go. I think that's a good size. What do you think? Should we make it taller? No, you're right. I think it looks fine. Do you have the box I gave you? Good. Let's start decorating. This one will go good right here. And this one here. Let's put this one right here. <laughs> Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, how lovely are your branches. Your boughs so green in summertime, stay bravely green in wintertime. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, how lovely are your branches. <sighs> I love that evergreens are the chosen tree for Christmas. No matter what changes, no matter what seasons come, no matter the harsh conditions of the weather, evergreens stay evergreen. They stay the same. They're always constant. Reliable. Always there. And even though most plant life is dead during winter, they stand strong and bright and vibrant, full of life. The evergreen is a promise of warmer months to come. Life can still grow, even if the evergreen is standing all alone. I started decorating these Christmas trees as a surprise for others. It started as a way to make their lives a little bit more merrier, a way to make them smile and have hope, like the evergreen is supposed to give. But as the years have gone by, it's started to become a little bit more for me. I wanted to be able to see the excitement on someone's face for something I did, the joy light up in their eyes. I did something to make their day a little better. It's a way of healing my younger self. The self that didn't get a Christmas tree, or presents, or a Christmas dinner. The self that didn't get the loving family, and often didn't even have a warm place to stay. It was a way of giving to her by giving to them. I know it doesn't really change my past, but I pray that it may change their future. It might be a little selfish thinking I might have taken part in something big enough to make a difference, but if there's even a chance I can make a difference, I at least want to try. I don't always have much to give. I'm not wealthy. I'm not. I don't have material things I can give. But I hope to give a little magic. And hopefully it will spread good cheer. And they will wish to give. And more people will wish to give. And pretty soon the world will be full of givers. I. <laughs> Sorry, I know I'm rambling again. Uh, speaking of magic, I do have one more small trick up my sleeve. Hand me that little ball over there. I happened to come across an artificer during my travels. 
and they had this ball that could cast dancing lights. Sadly, it had cracked, and the lights were much smaller than could be used for dancing lights. But I found that they had a more magical purpose. It fragmented, you see. And so when you put it into the tree, it kind of looks like stars shining through. Come on, I'll show you. You just push this button here and... Ta-da! <laughs> Let there be lights. Come on, let's put on the tinsel. The sun will be up soon. Then it will be time for the final event of the evening. Come on. <laughs> Hurry, behind this bush. And now we wait. Oh, we're gonna see their reactions. Yeah, we'll probably have to wait a little while, but if you like, you can take a nap. I brought extra blankets. You can curl up and go to sleep. And I'll wake you the first sign I see someone notice our tree. Or you can try to stay up with me if you like. But I won't blame you if you fall asleep. I'll keep watch. You rest your head. Wake up! Hey! Do you see? Look! Oh, they're so sweet! Uh, that one's not wearing shoes. Go put them on, you silly goose. You can't be out in the snow with cold feet. Look how excited they are. <laughs> we better go. I don't want to spoil their fun if they find us. But we gotta be quiet, okay? Thanks for doing this with me. It will be a very special memory. Hopefully for all of us. <laughs>